On day one, I spawned in as a baby tiger. Why is it so hot? I looked around and found myself in a cage with other tigers. We were over a large pit of lava. I then spotted my mom right next to me. Mom, what's going on? Bozo, gorillas have turned on us tigers. But why? Suddenly, a large silverback gorilla came out in front of the cage. My name is Isar, and I am king of the gorillas. For too long, tigers have ruled the jungle, causing my species to be pushed aside like we are nothing. Now, it is our time to rule. Drop all tigers in the lava. No! It is you that is destined to live on for us and reunite the jungle. I love you, son. Before I could respond, we were dropped in the lava, causing all the other tigers to die. I then pulled myself out and was in complete shock. Why am I still alive? My fur changed into a fiery red color, becoming a baby fire tiger mom no you will pay for this i promise you i'm gonna avenge my fellow tigers impossible how are you still alive seize him uh-oh a group of gorillas came out and began to chase me i need to get out of here on day two i was running as fast as i could why do the gorillas hate my kind i need to find out more i then couldn't hear the gorillas anymore i think the coast is clear <laughs> Ah! A gorilla appeared in front of me and scared me. Oh, oh, oh. There's no running from Esau. You're coming with me. The gorilla charged at me, and out of pure instinct, I swiped at him with fire. Whoa. Because I was now a fire tiger, I was granted a fire sword that gave me a fire slash ability. He kept on attacking me, and I was in a lot of pain. I'm too weak to face this guy. I only had five hearts. Anger started to build up within, and suddenly, I roared, and a giant fire tiger head came out of my body. It covered the entire area. What was that? I can't believe I did that. I looked and saw jungle trees burning around me. I caused all of this destruction with one attack? I never want to do that again. <coughs> you monster. I turned around to see the gorilla was gravely injured. You should leave the jungle just like the other tigers. This land belongs to Isar and the gorillas now. There are more tigers still alive? I knew that it was my job to find them and reunite the jungle once again by stopping these gorillas. But where do I even start? I continued running out of the jungle when all of a sudden... Help! Somebody help! I followed the screams to something trapped behind some wood. I quickly mined all of the wood that was trapping him, and a striped cat came out of the wreckage. Hey, thanks! Quick, follow me. And eventually, the two of us reached a forest far away from the fire. Appreciate the save. The name's Felix. It's nice to see another fellow tiger helping his people out. Tiger? I'm sorry, but you're clearly not a tiger. You're just... Just a cat with stripes. Don't say that. I'm more than just a cat. I'm just as strong as a tiger. I know it. Uh, okay, Felix. I'm Fozo. It's nice to meet you. As two tigers, we decided to stick together. Using the wood I collected earlier, I made a crafting table and created a set of wooden tools. Felix came up and told me that he collected some stone. He gave them to me, and I used them to upgrade my tools into stone tools. Now that we had enough materials, we found an area just outside of the jungle to build a nice little base. The two of us built ourselves some small dents to make it feel like home. That's when an idea sparked. This would serve as a safe haven for all future tigers that I find. That night, I quickly caught my new friend up on what had happened to me. I know about Isa, but I didn't think he would start his jungle takeover this soon. I've never seen a fire tiger before. You must be very important with uh, everything going on. I told him that I heard about other tigers being outside of the jungle, and Felix heard that some tigers went up into the mountains not far from base. If you are going to find any any tiger. I promise you it'll be there. On day four, I was venturing out into the world until I finally found the mountain that Felix told me about. This was a high mountain's peak, but luckily, tigers are great climbers. I finally reached the top, but I didn't see any of my kind anywhere. Where could they be? Eventually, I saw a tiger standing over the edge of the mountain. Hey, finally! So the rumors of the fire tiger were true after all. You have reason! Rumors? What are you talking about? Suddenly, we heard the sound of gorillas not far behind. 
Oh no! They finally found this place! There's no time to explain, but take this! The tiger handed me a map, and the sound of gorillas got even closer! You have no way of understanding this now, but you are far too important to die today! Go! Find the four royal tigers! They are the key to making you stronger! The gorillas appeared in front of us, and the tiger told me to run! Leave! Now! I reluctantly did as the tiger asked, and ran down the mountain while he fought the gorillas! It didn't take long for the tiger to be completely overrun! No! It was my fault that the tiger died! But I had to take responsibility and follow the map he's given me! I promise, your death won't be in vain! On day five, I followed the map and it seemed to lead me into a large cave. I went inside and I spotted some iron. I didn't mind all of it, but when I held it, something strange happened. It automatically smelted all of it. Cool. I guess being made out of fire has its perks. I quickly used the iron to craft myself a brand new set of iron tools and left the cave. This should come in handy. The map continued to lead me to the first royal tiger. I wonder what royal tigers are. I then came across a fairly large castle and felt strangely drawn to it like it was calling out to me i went inside knowing that the royal tiger had to be here hello anyone home i continued walking and noticed a large white tiger was there waiting for me he seemed different and intimidating hello Pose. i am tigris one of the four great royal tigers I have been waiting for you. Me? What's so special about me? As the fire tiger, you will unite the jungle once again and free it from Esau's reign of tyranny. Well, how am I supposed to do that? I do not have an answer for that, but I do have something for you. Tigris brought me to another room and revealed a weird-looking enchantment table and realized that that was a thing calling out to me. I walked towards it, and suddenly an orb appeared. I collected the orb and was upgraded into a full-sized fire tiger. Now, I had 15 hearts and felt much stronger than before. I invited Tigris to come back with me so that he can help me grow stronger. He agreed, and the two of us began to leave his castle. Tigris and I left to find that the place was completely surrounded by Isar's gorillas. Look, it's the fire tiger. Get him. Great. It looks like Isar still wants to capture me. Well, it won't be easy this time. A gorilla charged at me, and I slashed him with my fire claws, engulfing him in flames. Whoa, I really have gone stronger. Take this! I jumped at another and used my claws to easily burn him away. You guys can't underestimate me now. Ow! A gorilla hit me from behind and took a few of my hearts away. I can't underestimate these guys either. I dodged his attacks and finished him off with my fire claw. That was the last of them, and Tigris came out to see if the coast is clear. Everything's okay. Do you know why the gorillas hate the tigers so much? I might know some information about that, but let's talk in a more secure location. Agreed. The two of us left the savannah and headed back to base. On day seven, Tigris and I returned and quickly went to work building him a new home. I used the resources that I collected and built him a den similar to his old one next to mine. I wanted him to feel just at home. Bozo, you're back. Looks like you brought Tigris along with you. Wait, how do you know about Tigris? I know everything about Tigris. He's one of the four royals. Wow, uh, talk about being a fanatic. I also know that Tigris love fish. The cat showed me that he made a little fishing outpost so that we could have a source of food. Wow, thanks, Felix. No worries. Us Tigers gotta stick together, right? Yeah, right. I then walked over to go check on Tigris, and he was thankful for his new home. No problem. Now... You said you had information about the gorillas? Ah, yes. Esau. I actually used to know his father. Wait, really? Yes. Esau's father was one of the most peaceful gorillas in all the jungle. The animals all got along with each other thanks to him. Esau loved his father and considered their bond nearly unbreakable. But that all changed after a tragic incident took place during the war. War? What war? Tigris told me that that was all he knew. Everything else was too hazy for him to remember. Hmm, a war, huh? Well, thanks for the info, Tigris. You should get some rest. It's getting late. The next morning, I heard a loud commotion outside. I made my way over and can hear the cries of jungle animals. Isar was there ordering a group of small gorillas around. Find the rest of the jungle mobs and capture them on sight. Once they're captured, then our rule shall begin. There were cages full of the creatures of the jungle. He's not only hurting tigers, he can't be doing this. These animals did nothing wrong. Isar began to leave, and I thought that it would probably be best not to fight him yet. He looks strong. 
Once he was gone, I came out of hiding. I charged at the gorillas and took them out with my enhanced fire claws. A few more attacks, and I was able to take all of them down but one. All that's left is you now. So what are you gonna do? The small gorilla was clearly afraid of me and began to ran back inside of the jungle. Yeah, you better run. I gotta get better at that. I used my claws to free the animals and told them that they were safe. Safe, huh? How are we safe after the gorillas destroyed all of our homes? I felt bad and decided to build them a campsite to give them a temporary shelter. This will do until I take care of the gorillas. The animals thanked me for my help and a parrot told me that it's been a while since they've seen a tiger. The last time I've seen one was a strange looking tiger somewhere off in the desert. The desert, huh? That might be where the next royal tiger is. On day 9 to 10, I looked everywhere in the desert until I reached a strange looking temple. The temple seemed to be themed off of a tiger. This must be where the royal tiger is. I reached the entrance of it, but for some reason, I couldn't get inside. Why won't these blocks break? I looked over and saw a book next to the ground. I picked it up, and the book said that I needed a certain item for the doors to open. The book read, Return to me the lost totem of the tiger. Only then then shall I grant you access. The lost totem of the tiger? I wonder what that is. I know everything about tigers. I think I know exactly who would know about this totem. Let's see if you really know everything about tigers, Felix. Sir, what are you doing here? My king, it's the fire tiger. He's gotten stronger. <laughs> if the fire tiger is upgrading, then so will I. You want to play with fire, Fozo? Fine! It's time to give you a very cold awakening! I returned to base and noticed that my house was a little small for my current size. I think it's time for an upgrade. I collected more materials and used them to make myself a bigger tiger den. There, that ought to do it. Now, to go see Felix. I met with him outside and asked if he knew anything about the lost totem of the tiger. Ooh, I've heard many stories about that totem. Follow me, I'll take you. We started walking towards the location. Wait up, isn't it just a regular totem of undying or something? Totem of undying, are you dying? Um, that lost tiger totem is one of the former ancient tigers who passed away many, many years ago. Jeez, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to show any disrespect. Many don't know where the totem could be, but thankfully, I've done lots of research on my fellow tigers. Wow, you really know your tiger history. On days 13 to 14, Felix and I came across a large hole in the ground. Are you sure this is the place? Of course it is. Trust me, everything will be fine. All right. As we went further down, Felix told me that the totem was located deeper inside. While we were walking, I noticed some iron and used my iron pickaxe to mine it and make myself an iron chest plate and helmet. This should keep me safe from the attacks of Isar's minions. Uh, don't worry about safety, okay? This cave's been here for years. Even if something showed up. I'd just beat him up with my tiger-like reflex. Ah! Hey, leave him alone. I lunge at the spiders and use my claws to turn them into ashes. <laughs> Good job back there. I, uh, I totally had them, by the way. Yeah, sure you did. We continued through a grove and eventually reached a small shrine that was holding a strange totem. I went over and collected it. This is it. This is the tiger's totem. And What's this? There was a wall behind the shrine that displayed something. Is that supposed to be me? It says that the fire tiger will bring unity to the entire jungle through its pure will. So everything that's happening right now was meant to be. Wow, that's a lot to take in. But it's time to bring this totem back and meet with the second royal tiger. I'll meet you back at base, Felix. I returned to the temple, and once I was at the doors, I dropped the tiger totem in front. In a large flash, the doors disappeared. Nice. I walked inside, and it seemed to be completely empty. I couldn't find the royal tiger anywhere. Hello? Is anyone in here? Eventually, I spotted a dungeon and decided to check it out. When I entered, I walked through a hallway and down some steps, where there was another tiger waiting for me. Hello, Fozo. So, I'm guessing you're the second royal tiger, right? Uh 
I am. My name is Cleo, and I know why you're here. I told Cleo that I wanted to become stronger so that I could return the jungle to what it once was. This day was destined to come, born from a pure tragedy. Listen, Tiger, the second upgrade won't be easy as the first one. You must find the Volcano of Flames. Volcano of Flames? Doesn't sound that welcoming. Look, I know your home is this place, but I promise you, if you don't come with me, the gorillas will find you and harm you. Join me at my base. That way, you can stay safe. Cleo agreed to join, and we both began to leave the desert. On days 17 to 18, Cleo and I were on our way back to base when we noticed something strange along the horizon. The two of us reached a desert village that was completely covered in ice. Even the villagers were trapped. What is this? This is strange. I have a bad feeling that Izar may have something to do with this. But how would he? He's only a gorilla. Don't you think it's strange that as soon as the gorilla found out about a fire tiger, suddenly this happens? You're right. I mean, this is the desert. The hottest biome there is. This isn't natural. I need to get these poor villagers out of the ice. I use my fire claws to melt down the ice and free the villagers. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tiger. I thought I was gonna be frozen forever. My nose was starting to feel like a frozen popsicle. I asked the villager how they ended up in the block of ice, and he told us that he had no idea. I was out just minding my own business when all of a sudden, I couldn't move at all. Weird. Me and Cleo both agreed that we needed to hurry and find the rest of the upgrades. Cleo and I returned to base and got to work on building her a new home. I decided to build her a desert-themed den to make it feel like her old place back at the temple. Thank you, Fozo. This home will most certainly suffice. No no problem. I'm glad that we can stand up against that evil gorilla. Isar's not actually evil. He's just misunderstood. But the way he's acting doesn't seem like it. Shh. Felix. Go on, Cleo. The jungle throughout the years knew nothing but peace and happiness. That is, until the players started showing up. Many years ago, the Tigers went through a war with many different players. They were trying to take the jungle for themselves and strip it of its resources as players tend to do. Tigers were the sworn protector of our biome and did what they needed to in order to protect it. Isar's father also took note of this and helped defend the land to keep his son safe. Son, stay here. I'm gonna make sure these players stay away from our home. Dad, it's too dangerous. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Who goes there? Dad, no! Isar's father suffered a grave injury that led to his death, and poor Isar watched it all unfold. But why does Isar hate tigers? It doesn't make sense. I need to go talk to him. You sure about that, Fozo? Isar might kill you. Maybe I can reason with him or something. Look, I have to at least try, okay? He's hurt. His own father died in front of him. If I can end things peacefully with Isar and unite the jungle the way it should be, then I'm gonna do it. On days 21 to 23, I made my way into the jungle and noticed that it had changed a lot since I'd last been here. Everything felt dark, dreadful, and and cold? I also noticed that it was snowing. That is strange. It never snows in the jungle. I continued going further inside and spotted more cages full of the jungle's animals. I freed them, and that's when I spotted a gorilla temple off in the distance. Once I reached the entrance, there were two small gorilla guards waiting for me. Halt! Who goes there? I am Fozo, the fire tiger, and I would like to speak with Isar. Fozo? Isar walked out of the entrance and approached me. I I can tell that something had changed about him since our last encounter. How amusing that you have brought yourself to me just to die. I'm not here to fight you, Isar. I just want to talk. The gorilla didn't listen to me, though, and knocked me back with a blast of ice. Whoa, what was that? While you were out getting your upgrades, I decided to make a few upgrades of my own. The attack was so brutal that it took half of my hearts away. Stop this. I don't want to fight you. I've come here to make peace. Peace. It's too late for peace now. The tigers will pay. They took everything from me. Isar hit me with another ice attack, and I only had a few hearts left. I was too weak to run. I won't kill you yet. I want the entire jungle to see you die. On days 24 to 26, I was locked up inside some kind of dungeon. Isar won't even listen to me. Is he too far gone to reason with? I need to get out of this cage. 
I looked next to me and saw a parrot frozen in ice. I need to get him out of here. He could freeze to death. I used my fire powers to free the parrot and warmed him back up. Thanks for the fire. Who would have thought a tiger would help someone like me? I used to hate the tigers, but I hate the gorillas more. They're ruining the jungle. I don't know what the tigers did to you to hate them, but I'm different. I want to help the jungle and make it peaceful again. Well, since you freed me from the ice, I think I can help us get out of here. Ollie was small enough to fly through our cage and managed to open it up from the outside. Wow, thanks, Ollie. Now I just need to find the volcano of flames and get stronger. Volcano of flames? Actually, I know where that is. Really? Ollie told me the volcano's location, and I offered him a place to stay at the base. Don't worry, Ollie. You should be safe there. On days 27 to 29, I arrived at the volcano, and it was a massive area that had lava and fire all around it. This must be the place. I walked up to the edge of the volcano and stared at the lava in front of me. All I can see when I saw it was my mother and the tigers. Instead of giving in to sadness, this gave me more determination than ever and a reminder as to why I'm trying to help the jungle. I eventually reached the top and met an individual there. I could tell that this person was strong. I am the guardian of this upgrade. If you wish to obtain it, you must defeat me in battle. He immediately knocked me away with a fire attack. Ouch! I guess I have to do what he said. Defeat him in battle. I tried to attack him back, but every time I got close, he kept using more of his fire abilities on me. Ugh, this guy's tough. He was getting ready for another attack, but I was too fast for him and used my fire claws to damage him. He tried to fight back, but I slashed him down with my claws to finish him off. The fire guardian dropped an item. I equipped it and immediately gained 10 more hearts. I was also now completely covered in fire. Sweet! I tested out my new upgrade and could do the same attack that the fire guardian used. Now I was that much closer to obtaining all of my upgrades. On my way back to base, I knew that fight with that fire guardian was a little too close for comfort. I needed to better protect myself. I went inside of a nearby cave and noticed that it was deep, so maybe I can find better materials inside. I managed to reach a point inside where I found a few diamonds. I then used my pickaxe to get the material. It was enough to upgrade to a set of diamond tools. It's not armor, but it'll do for now. I found some more iron inside of the cave and collected it to finish off my iron armor set. I then returned to base and noticed that Felix was finishing up on building Ollie's new home. Thanks, Felix. You've been really helpful and made me feel welcome at this base. Uh, don't mention it. One of the tiger's biggest jobs is to protect his family. And you're part of the family now. Felix saw me walk into the base and came over to welcome me. It looks like you got another upgrade, Fozo. That's great. Yep. I'm halfway there to being a fully upgraded fire tiger. Yeah, don't let that power give you a big head. Pretty soon I'll be just as strong as you two. We'll see, buddy. We'll see. On days 33 to 35, I decided to head out and start looking for clues into finding the last royal tiger. During my journey, I came across a plains biome that was covered in ice and snow. This was just like the desert village back then. Isar's name was written all over it. His power is increasing just like mine. I made my way through the now icy plains and spotted somebody trapped in a block of ice. I walked up and realized that it was a gorilla? Huh? Why would Isar freeze one of his own kind? I used my fire claws to free the gorilla and melted some of the ice in the area away. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of there. Uh, here, I think this is part of my gratitude. The gorilla dropped some diamonds in front of me and that was enough to craft myself a diamond chest plate. Hey, thanks for the diamonds, but why were you trapped? Follow me. I'll explain more once we get somewhere safe. The gorilla and I made it to a small outpost, and I stopped at the entrance. This isn't some kind of trap, right? The gorilla just told me to trust him, and I guess I had no other option. I went inside to find that it was only us and a few other gorillas. This is my family. We've been hiding out here to stay away from Isar and his madness. The gorilla explained that he was for Isar until he found out some of his true motives. I didn't agree to what he was doing. I tried to stop him, but that ended up with me being frozen. That's not good. All jungle life is at stake, Fire Tiger. Isar is planning to strip away everyone's freedom with his new ice powers. I couldn't let my family go through that. Family is everything to me. Don't worry. I'm gonna stop him, I promise. Isar knows where the third royal tiger is too. You have to get there before his men do. The gorilla gave me the royal tiger's location, and I thanked him for his help. I promise you, 
I won't let you down. On days 39 to 41, I made it to the third Royal Tigers location and found myself in the middle of a swamp biome. The gorilla mentioned that the Royal Tiger was hiding out in a cave, one that looked like a part of the swamps. When I reached it, I noticed that it was greatly damaged. There was fire all inside. Oh no, was I too late? Hey! I ran further in and spotted the Royal Tiger stranded by gorillas. Fire Tiger, you finally here. Please come save me. There were a lot of gorillas blocking my path to reach him. I guess I've got no choice. It's the Fire Tiger. Get him. And I prepared myself for a battle. A gorilla tried to attack me, but I used my Fire Claw to easily take it down. I also used my new fire ability and was able to take a few more of them. More gorillas ran into the cave though, and I was starting to get overwhelmed. I couldn't fight all of them at once. I then heard the third third royal tiger scream out in the distance. No! I have to do something! Suddenly, another huge fire tiger came out of me again, defeating all surrounding gorillas. No, I didn't mean to use it, but I was so angry. I had no control. I ran outside just to see the third royal tiger was gone. I was too late. That ability I used scared me. It's too powerful for me to control, even right now. I needed to get stronger. I noticed some diamonds were inside of the cave, so I collected them and had enough to fully equip my diamond armor. That should protect me better from Isar's minions and hopefully prevent me from not being able to control my attacks again. Ozo, are you in there? I know that meow anywhere. I went out and saw Felix was there waiting for me. What are you doing here? I'm here to help you out, but as a spy, I was keeping an eye on Isar and happened to find where they took the royal tiger. That's great, Felix. You know where he's being held? They took the royal tiger to the most secure place in all the jungle. And that place is so guarded, it would see you a mile away. It's a risk that I'm gonna have to take. Now show me the way. Felix reluctantly agreed, and I followed him out of the swamps. On days 45 to 47, Felix led me to a large prison with gorillas guarding the entrance. Are you sure about this, Fozo? Look, I have no choice, okay? Now go back to the base and wait for me. Felix wished me luck, and I rushed inside. Uh, did you watch that new Fozo video last week? Yeah, well, I heard it was amazing, so I had to check it out, and, uh... ah! I used my fire claws to take down the first gorilla, and before another one could react, I used my second upgrade to defeat him. If I want to do this successfully, I have to stay quiet. Hey, I'm here to get you out. Thank goodness. I thought those gorillas were going to kill me. I quickly got the third royal tiger out of the cage, and the two of us ran outside of the prison and made our way out of the jungle. While leaving, I saw Isar's base and noticed that it seemed different than last time. What's up with that? The royal tiger told me that he overheard the gorilla's plan. Isar is going to freeze over the entire jungle. This would only allow gorilla lives to be free and prioritized. Everyone except their own species? That's what the other gorilla meant by using his ice powers. I couldn't let that happen. I needed to hurry and find my other upgrades. The third royal tiger told me that his name was Bangle. We arrived at the base and began working on his new home. I decided to make his home feel more like the swamp and made it out of oak logs. I even added a small pool for him to swim inside. Thank you, Fozo. I love my new home. You're welcome. While I was with them, I happened to find this. Bangle then dropped a book and it was a diary that belonged to Isar. I opened it and began to read it. The diary told me about the events that took place during the war between the tigers and the players. Esau wrote that his father hid him away from the battle to keep him safe, just like Cleo told me. I watched as my father left to go defend the jungle, and that's when it happened. Who goes there? It was a tiger's fault! My father was taken away from me because of a tiger! Dad, please stay with me. Please. Son, it's up to you now. Do what you must. Protect the jungle. Make me proud. No! So it wasn't a player that killed Isar's father. It was a tiger. Why would a tiger do this? If that's true, then that's the reason why Esau hates us so much. Yeah, but that doesn't explain why he's treating the other animals so poorly too. Why does he hate them? Bangle doesn't know, but he believes that I'll find out soon enough. Finding my third upgrade was more important right now, and Bangle gave me its location. With that, I headed out of base. On days 51 to 53, I reached the location of my third 
fire upgrade. It was deep underground. I knew I had to be careful. There's no doubt this place is full of traps. I made my way inside and reached the site of my third fire upgrade. There you are. I went over and grabbed it and immediately felt myself getting stronger. Nice. Now I have five more hearts too. But suddenly, the entire dungeon started to shake. Oh no, what's happening? I ran as fast as I could when I ran into a giant crocodile. You dare enter my domain? Uh, I was sent here to make myself stronger. This will help all jungle animals. I don't care. I am safe underground here. You shall die for your decision. Wait, no. The crocodile didn't listen though and began to attack. Here goes nothing. I used my new ability and it sent out a giant aerial fire attack. It hurt the crocodile enough for him to run away. That's right. You better run. With this new ability, I am sure I can beat Isar and his men. I was going through the world and all of a sudden, I finally found you, fire tiger. He looked even more different than before. His fur looked more blue, and I could tell that he was much stronger. Isar, look. I know what happened to your father. It was a tiger, and I'm sorry, okay? Tigers are meant to lead us in the jungle. They are supposed to protect all of us. But no, they only care about themselves. Isar tried to hit me again, but I dodged it and countered with my new upgrade. But Isar was completely unaffected. Has he been become too cold for me to melt? Isar managed to hit me with his ice powers again, and I couldn't move for a moment. Ah! This gave him enough time to lay a critical blow on me. Ouch! There has to be more to all of this, Isar. All of the jungle animals don't have anything to do with this. After my father was killed, I realized something. My father's death showed me who the real villains are. Only us gorillas know how things should be. Isar was about to strike me again, but I dodged it and summoned fire all around him. I know there is still good in you, but for now, you're blinded by rage. While trapped, I began to escape and make my way home. On days 57 and 59, I returned to base completely exhausted. Felix ran over to me and was glad to see that I was okay. I need to stop him, Felix. Yeah, have some fish. He dropped me some fish and I ate them to replenish my strength. I then looked at the small fishing farm and realized that we're gonna have to make that a little bigger if we want to feed all of our guests. Felix and I both got to work and we made the small fishing farm much larger. Now, hopefully more people can fish at once. I met with the three royal tigers and they told me that they were proud of what I've accomplished so far. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but you're really making progress on saving the jungle. Agreed. More animals are hearing about your legend and are beginning to have hope. Thanks, guys, but Isar still needs to be stopped. We have to find a way to make peace. In order to do that, I need to find the last royal tiger. I might know where she's hiding. Hopefully, Isar and his gorillas haven't found her. Bangal told me the location, and I made my way over. I made my way through the jungle and remembered what Bangle told me. You can find her deep within a certain jungle, but remember, this jungle isn't ordinary. I wonder what's so special about it. I reached the location and realized what Bangle was saying. This jungle was completely surrounded by bamboo. I've never seen anything like this before. It was nice and peaceful, completely unaffected by Isar's ice. Once I reached it, I noticed that some of the jungle animals were also here. A lot of them looked like they were hiding out. What are you guys all doing here? We retreated from our jungle after Esau began his conquest. Most of us lost our families. The jungle isn't what it used to be. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do what I can to make things right. The animals thanked me for that, and I turned around, only to see the fourth royal tiger. She was a large white tiger who gave off a majestic and peaceful presence. I am Shiva. You must be Fozo. I am, and thank you for taking care of all these animals. Shiva told me that it's a tiger's responsibility. Well, I wholeheartedly agree. Look, I need your help to save the jungle. Now that you have me, you almost have everything you need to reach your final. On days 63 to 65, I returned with Shiva back to base, and the two of us worked on her new home. We tried to make it look exactly like her old one. I even added bamboo around it and used some glowstone she had on hand to light it up. Good to see you again, Shiva. Same here, Bengal. Though, I wish we were meeting on better terms. Now that I have all of you guys, what am I supposed to do? You need all the royal tigers with you in one place to upgrade to your final form. Okay, well, let me just go grab the other two, and then we should be good to go, right? Not necessarily. There's still one more item that you need in order to activate your final form. The Lost Fire Claw. Huh, what's that? Ooh, I know. The Lost Fire Claw helps its user unleash their inner strength. Ugh. 
of course you know, Felix. Where do I find it? The Lost Fire Claw can be found deep within a fortress inside of the Nether. Once you get there, you'll find a secret room that houses the claw. Then there's no time to lose. Before I left, I saw Shiva walk away. I could tell that she was hiding something. Hey, is everything all right? I just... I feel responsible for most of what's happening. But why? The gorillas are the ones who are responsible. It's up to all of us tigers to fix that. But I am the one that caused the gorillas to turn on us. Wait, are you? I am. I still remember the day like it happened yesterday. I heard a noise coming from the jungle. Players had recently hurt my family, and I was blinded by pure rage. And without thinking twice, I jumped out at the noise and kept swinging until I realized what I had done. I am the tiger that killed Esau's father, and I regret it every second. And I still breathe. Shiva, I don't know what to say. You mustn't say anything. It is up to you now, Bozo. Reunite the jungle. It is your destiny. I journeyed across the world until I stumbled upon a cave entrance. Felix said that I could find a good amount of obsidian where the water meets lava. I went inside the cave and I couldn't find anything at first, but luckily it was so big. So I was able to find some eventually. I used my diamond pickaxe to mine as much obsidian that I could find. After leaving the cave, I then found a nice area to start working on the portal. Now all I need to do is light it with some flint and steel. Oh, wait a minute. I'm already made out of fire. I used my third fire ability and the portal was able to activate. Uh, I love love being a fire tiger. Time to go find that fire claw. On day 69 to 71, I found myself inside of the nether. I knew that I had to search all around, but where? Once you get there, you'll find a secret room that houses the claw. That's right. I needed to find a fortress. I started my journey across the nether and found a large red building. Is that supposed to be it? I walked throughout the tower and searched everywhere for the claw, but I couldn't find anything. Where could it be? I reached the top and I dodged a fireball. What the? I looked up and came face to face with a large fire dragon. Why did you attack me? You want the fire claw, right? Well, you're You'll have to beat me to get it. If that's what it's gonna have to take, then so be it. I charge at the dragon and try to attack, but he was just out of my reach. He then hit me with a fireball and took a few of my hearts away. Good thing this armor lessened the damage. Looks like you're a worthy competitor, but I won't let you out alive. Time to finish this. I don't think so. I activated my third fire ability, which instantly took him down. Whoa, that ability is stronger than I thought. In a flash of light, the fire claw was in front of me. Once I grabbed it, I knew that I had to get out of this place and bring it back to the Royal Tigers immediately. I returned back to the overworld and ah! Esar sped by and hit me with one of his attacks. You think you're the only one busy getting upgrades? You escaped me last time. That will not happen again. You're coming with me, Bozo. Oh no. I used my second upgrade on him and the blow pushed him away. Your fire is still too weak to burn me. You are pathetic. The gorilla blasted me with an ice and took 10 of my hearts out. He's gotten stronger too? How is this possible? I relentlessly sliced Esar with my fire claws, trying to damage him, but it wasn't any good. He didn't even flinch. He just knocked me back with his gorilla strength, and I was low on hearts. I still can't beat him. I need to escape. Before I could run, Isar covered me with his ice powers, trapping me in a block of ice. Now that I have you, my plan will finally be fulfilled. On day 75 to 77, I woke up and found myself inside of a cage. What happened? And where am I? I was surrounded by gorillas, and they were cheering Isar on. Behold, the jungle's last hope will finally be gone, and the time of the gorillas shall begin. No, 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 stop. You don't have to do this. Oh, but I do, and I will. I thought I was done for, when all of a sudden, Felix ran up from behind and knocked Isar off a hill. Talk about pure tiger strength. Take that. Felix, I didn't waste any time. We both made a run for it, but we were stopped to see a bunch of gorillas in our way. I dodged the first one's attack and used my claws to take him down. Then I used my second upgrade to take down a few more. Oh, Felix, you shouldn't be here. More of the gorillas started showing up, so I tried to use my third ability to burn them away, but I was running low on hearts and Felix knew it. We gotta get out of here right now. You are going Nowhere. Suddenly, an ice attack got shot out. No! Felix jumped in the way. Felix! Anger built within me to the point where I unleashed another fire tiger. It killed all the gorillas, leaving only Isar. We will meet again. Oh, come on, buddy. We've got to get out of here. No, Fozo. I'm not going to make it. 
Listen, you have what it takes to save the jungle. I know it. We all do. I just hope I was a hero like you. All I ever wanted to be was a real tiger. Felix? Felix! No! My friend was gone. I promise. The world is going to know about what you did today. Everyone will. I showed up, and the other royal tigers were outside waiting for me. Bozo, you're back! Thank heavens! Where's Felix? Guys, Felix, he didn't make it. They were all saddened to hear the news. I found a spot at the base and created a memorial for Felix. There, everyone stood and mourned for his loss. You were the bravest and brightest feline I ever met. You always cared about everyone and took care of them. Your passion for tigers knew no bounds. As the head of the Royal Tigers, we hereby deem Felix worthy of being a tiger, and we make him the fifth Royal Tiger. You see, Felix? You were more of a tiger than any of us, and you proved that every day you were alive. I'm gonna miss you, my friend. It's time for the Age of Gorillas to begin! Now, no one can do anything or do any harm just as things should be. On days 81 to 85, I noticed that my entire base was snowed over. Oh no, this has to be Isar. I then looked over to the Royal Tigers, and they told me that it was time for me to unlock my final form. I needed to go and meet them at the Tiger Ritual Ground. I journeyed across the world and noticed that more of it was covered in snow. Isar is getting stronger by the minute, and he was making sure that everyone suffered his icy wrath. As I made my way towards the ritual site, I saw a camp that was completely covered in ice. I ran up to it and saw jungle animals trapped in cages. They looked like they were all freezing to death. I activated my third upgrade and used my flames to melt all the ice away. Oi, oi, thanks, Fire Tiger. We thought we were a safe distance away from Esau, but I guess we were wrong. I'm sorry, but I don't think anyone is safe as long as Esau is doing as he pleases. The animals told me that the jungle has become a frozen wasteland and the gorillas are the only inhabitants there. I've got to reach the ritual site and reach my final form. Only then Will I be able to reverse all of this? I reached the site and found Shiva was there waiting for me. So, you finally made it, Fozo. Yeah, so this is it, huh? We walked over to the pit of lava and she explained to me that if I wanted to unlock my final form, I needed to bathe in the lava once again. So, I started in lava to become the fire tiger and now I have to go in it to unlock my final form. I guess that makes sense. All four of the royal tigers went at each corner of the lava pit, waiting for the ritual to begin. I guess it's up to me now. I walked up and tossed the lost fire claw inside. Then I knew it was time. Wish me luck. A vision began to run through my mind. I found myself inside of the jungle, but it was quiet and peaceful. A tiger walked up to me and told me that he was my guide to unlocking my final upgrade. I would tell you what your upgrade is, but you already know the answer to that. Flashes of the fire tiger head filled me with doubt. I don't know if I should use this power. It may be too strong for me to handle. I almost burned down the entire jungle the first time I used it. You are the only one who can use this power. If you ever want to unleash that power's full potential, you must accept that it's a part of you. The vision disappeared, and I was outside of the lava pit. I noticed that I gained 10 more hearts and felt way more in tune with my powers. All the tigers agreed that I had become the full-fledged fire tiger. On days 91 and 94, we were all back at base as I prepared to go save the jungle. Shiva came up and asked if I saw anything while I was in the lava. I quickly explained her my vision. If that is all you need to do, then trust in yourself and you will see this through. Thank you. I'll try to do that. If things go south, make sure you get all the animals to safety. Shiva agreed and hoped that I would reverse all of this. I can tell that she felt really bad about what happened to Isar's father and I knew that it was up to me to make things right. I went over to Bengal's house and met with him. He was worried for my safety, but believed that I would be all right. Those gorillas are pretty scary, but you can show them how scary us tigers are. Thank you. I then went over to Tigris and Cleo, and they both wished me luck on my upcoming battle. All right, Felix, this is it. It's time that I go save this jungle. I reached the edge of the jungle, and it was just as I had feared. Isar had turned this once beautiful home into a cold and icy wasteland. I surveyed the area and saw the jungle animals being held captive while the gorillas laughed at them. Please, you can't do this. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna stop us? 
That would be me. I use my fire charge attack to easily take down the gorillas. I then quickly free the jungle animals out of their cages. Get out of the jungle. It's not safe here yet. More small gorillas started to show up and began to surround me. Unfortunately for them, my upgrades have maxed out thanks to the ritual. I unleashed my third upgrade and burned all the gorillas around me. Now, all that's left was Isar. I felt a chilling wind pass by me and knew that was where he was. It was time to finish this. On day 100, I finally arrived at the place Isar was waiting for me. This is your last chance. Please surrender now. Together we can bring peace back into the jungle. Peace, there will only be peace. Once you and the rest of the animals are gone. Isar tried to blast me with ice, but I quickly dodged it. Look, the tiger that killed your father, it was a mistake, an accident. Shut up, stop lying. All tigers shall die. The gorilla was far too gone. I have no choice. I circled around Isar and slashed him from behind with my fire claws. It seemed to finally damage him because he retaliated, but I had to bear the pain. I used my second upgrade on him and knocked him back. Then my third to greatly weaken him. This was it. I have to believe in myself. No! I activated my fire head to finish off Isar, melting all the ice away. I'm sorry, Isar, but it's over now.